and now I'm spinning out. Oh, what is happening to my car? I just became a spaceship. So a little birdie decided to tell me that Driving Empire has been updated and there's some new cars. Well, let me go ahead and tell you guys today we're going to be getting those new cars and seeing just how fast they are, seeing if they're the best in the game. And comparing them to the cars we already have. You already know we got the Bugatti and some other crazy stuff. You know what? Let's jump right in here. If you're ready to jump in here with me, hit that like button and also that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And let's go check out these crazy new cars. First things first, though, man. As you can see, all around me is members of the captain's crew, man. All the subscribers, I love you guys. Y'all are my family. I love each and every one of you. If you are not a part of the family yet, go ahead and scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and join the family. Let's go ahead and take out my fastest car that I have. We proved it the last time. Who's going to be able to jump in first? It is, oh my gosh, well, it was that guy. He got out, and it's now this guy. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go to a race. As I said, though, as he's freaking out in the passenger seat, he said, I'm riding with Cappy. Shout out to my boy. We're going to go ahead and pull up to this race because as you guys saw last time, that was our first time riding with the Bugatti, and it was ultra super fast. We were beating everybody in the race, but it looks like we have a lot more of the crew in here this time, and we'll see if this car is truly the fastest we have. And then, just after that, we're going to buy some crazy cars. Here we go, guys. The first race of the day in the Bugatti somebody commented and said you are going down i think it was the guy right next to me and if it was oh good luck to you sir because i have got a fast car but i think he does too he's got another version of a bugatti and he's right on me let's see who wins this race i haven't played this game in a while so we might be a little rusty but honestly if i'm looking back he is kind of behind me but if he stays behind me that's all i really care about we are absolutely flying in this race. All we got to do is not wreck, and we are definitely going to win. That guy behind me is not standing a chance, and this is good. Oh, wait, hold up. He's kind of catching up. Is he? No, nah, we're good. We are winning our first race beautifully. And look at that. Just as I thought, we won the race in 43.3 seconds. You know what, guys? Let's go find out what the new cars are like. And as a matter of fact, if I just click on this button right here, you see that there's two new cars right here in the weekly car pack. And if we pay a 1,000 Robux, we get something that's worth 5100 So you know what, man? I'm going to go ahead and do it. R.I.P. my Robux once again. This is for you guys. So, you know, you already know what you got to do. Like that video. I appreciate you. And now let's check out what we just got. We got a 2021 McBlaren 800 Speedster. What even is that? Oh, oh. Oh, hold up, man. This is beautiful. I kind of want to wrap it in something crazy, like a bunch of trophies or something. Let me preview what it looks like. Oh, we got to wrap it in the trophy fit. And we got to put the premium boost on this bad boy. Now, let's go see what this one's all about. We don't have the drag engine yet, so they're definitely going to beat me off of the line. My man said, Cappy, this is sick. I appreciate you. And I do not disagree with him. Look at all the trophies all over the car. You already know that means we got to come in first or, or else what's the trophy fit for? And here we go, guys guys in the first race in the new car oh this new car it's so beautiful but i don't think it's gonna be faster than our other car it, it sounds good let's see what it does off the jump you know it's pretty good but the guy in front of me you know in my bugatti he wouldn't even have touched us but this is the new car and i don't think it's faster than the bugatti no nah, it definitely ain't faster it's capping out at like 200 miles an hour Nah, the McLaren is not McWorth it, let me tell you. Look at this, man. It's only capping out at 200, and then right when we hit the boost, it goes to about 240. But if we're in that Bugatti, it's doing it in, like, what? It goes to 300 max out and then 370 with the boost. So, in my opinion, definitely not worth it. Now, we don't have the drag engine in the car. I'll give us that, but we finished in 62 seconds, and a drag engine isn't going to do that much for us. So, now let's check out this other car. We got the 2020 McLaren 600 LIM. This car looks sick. We bought the drag engine for a hundred and some odd thousand dollars. Oh, well, hold up, hold up. I, I gotta go ahead and put my boost on. You already know I own it, but don't equip it if you get a new car. And now, let's see how fast this car is, man. Off the jump. Okay, it looks pretty sick with the exhaust out of the top of the car, but as you can see, man, it's not good enough for your boy. Wait a minute, though. Hold up. We're picking up some speed. We have 230 miles per hour right now. We just passed that Bugatti, and I think he was waiting on me, though. Oh, he was definitely waiting on me. This car is not gonna be faster than a Bugatti capping out at 250 miles an hour. It just isn't that good, guys. But Nick Blaren just doesn't have it in him to beat an entire... Well, I mean, we are in first place right now. If I can check behind me, 
We are in way first place. I think they all crashed. There's no way, because I would have finished the race by now if I had my Bugatti. There's absolutely no way I'd be winning this race if somebody didn't crash. But you know what, man? Beggars can't be choosers. We cap out at 251, and I win the race in 57 seconds, and that is trash. So you know what, guys? Win in doubt. Take out your best car that you got, and it would have to be my all-gold Bugatti. I mean, it just sounds mean. It's real tough starting that bad boy up, and it is time to race him again. We only got a couple people racing us this time, and this guy's got like an Audi that is definitely not going to win. And this guy over here, I think he's got a McLaren or a McBlaren. I'm sorry. And man, I'm so sorry, but everybody's just going to eat my dust. Look at that. I mean, the Bugatti is unstoppable. So check out the bottom, guys. We cap out at 306 if we don't use any type of boost. But right when I hit this little freeway up here, I'm going to show you what we get to in the boost. Check this out right here. Oh, God. Well, maybe not if I crash. Hold up. I don't see anybody coming. But right when we hit this boost, I'm out anyways. It doesn't matter. Nobody is passing us. It does not matter. Look at that. I hit the boost, and we go all the way up to 340. I thought I said 370. It's 340, and we get all the way up there with the boost. And it's kind of sad because I'm still finishing faster than the other cars, and I didn't wreck in the other cars. Now we're trying out the Mountain Dash race. We're going to see what this is like. I've never played it. We've only ever played the highway race. So let's see what the Bugatti's got in the Mountain Dash race. My guy said I love your videos in the passenger seat. I appreciate you. What is this car doing in the middle of the road during the race? Look at him. Can I hit him? You know what? I'm just going to truck stick him. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm out of here. Oh, my. Already? You mean to tell me my car flipped off of the jump? But that's okay. So did this guy's car. And now we are back in first place where we rightfully belong. I think I just hit a piece of road and I kind of flipped. I don't know what happened. Oh, gosh. Yep. This definitely is not a race for the Bugatti. I can tell you that much. We're still in first. But then this is where those race brakes have to kind of come in clutch because we got to do some drifting like this. Ooh, oh, I was about to say that was kind of sick, but we did go off the road. I'm so bad. With okay, the Bugatti is so bad handling. Where am I going? The Bugatti's handling, guys, is so atrocious. Look what's happening. I'm still in second, though, and the guy in first is not right there. Oh, wait, he was. I'm in first now. And now I'm spinning out. Oh, what is happening to my car? I just became a spaceship. And I think my car has now glitched into the ground. What is happening to the Bugatti? I, we had to have lost this race. You know what? We'll try again. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm back on the road, but I've lost an entire tire. An entire tire. You like that? Look at this. If you look at the top left of my car, the front left of my car, I have no tire, no rim, no nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm horrible at drifting. This is the worst display of racing I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't even know where I'm going. At this point, I'm just riding on the road. Oh, there is a checkpoint finally. And I'm only 60% done with this race. Oh my, they gotta give me more time to see those. Th I took out an entire street sign. You know what, I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving. We are 70% done with this race. And the guy said, oh my, don't you disrespect me. Listen, I know I'm horrible, but I'm over here driving without a tire. I mean, cut me some slack here. We've got two other people racing against us in the city quarter mile in the sprint. I don't know what that means, but I've never done this race either. Oh wait, it's literally right in front of us. So maybe we just gotta hit the boosters and we're gonna win this race with ease. And here we go, out in the Bugatti. Goodbye, every... Oh, wait, hold up. I'm in first right now. Oh, that was so easy. We finished it in 5.9 seconds, and I hit a building. That was a very good race indeed. We blew out everybody. But you know what? Let's take this car out for a spin one more time. This car is a very beautiful car. I will give it that. It's just not that fast. You know, it's not... Did I just get a ticket? Like I was saying, it's just not that crazy fast. You know, in real life, it would be over here over 200 miles an hour. But for this game, the Bugatti is smacking that. Oh, no. Here I go in the water. And uh, I made the mistake of going in the water again. There goes my car. Hey, but you know your boy had the car insurance. We can just get that car right back and try to take one spin around the city without destroying the car. Please straighten up your driving, Cappy. We got to do one little drive. I just want to hit top speed in the McBlaren and have a nice little drive around the city. I mean, guys, is that so much to ask? I just want to have a nice drive without wrecking. Let's see. I'm at 237 miles an hour. I'm going to try to hit a drift around the corner and, you know, do my little thing in my McBlaren. You know how we do over here in the captain's crew. Actually, if you did know me, you would know what we do in the captain's crew is not very successful when it comes to driving. 
you know what? That's not bad. That is not bad. I will take that little move, and we're still, still up. Uh, oh, back on the road. Okay, here we go. So we only tried two of the newer cars. We tried two of the McLarens or McBlarens, whatever you want to call them. But there are a lot of new cars in this game, guys. So let me know if you want me to check any of them out. I mean, by now, I don't... Oh, God, hold up. There's more water. You know what, man? I've drove off the land twice. I'm in a water. I don't have a boat. I have a car. That's what we're in in this video. If you like the new cars in today's video, hit that like button and also that subscribe button if you haven't yet. We'll check out some newer ones later on. But other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. I love ya. Uh, goodbye.